I was a special teams guy. It's one of the few positions where you have to explain to people what you did. You know, I spent a lot of time on the sideline. It was early in uh, 1990 season, and uh, it's in Buffalo, and it's, it's 38 and raining, you know, so it's cold. And I'm standing on the sidelines, and we're playing this team. When the Hall of Fame quarterback looks over and he says, hey, put Seve in. I'm Seve. That's my nickname. And I'm, you know, are you high? There's like three guys that should go in before I do. But when he says, hey, I want him in. So I, I'd never been in the game offensively. And I get in the huddle, and I look across. And I'm standing in the huddle with the offensive line. And, and Jim gets in the huddle, he calls his play. Formation 8, audible 99. And they break. Taps me on the leg, says, get open, Sev. Ball snap, and I take a little release. And you know, I'm running good, and I think, I wonder where he's going to throw the ball. And I kind of turn around and look over my shoulder, and that, that ball's about five feet from me, and it's coming like a shot. My whole life, I've been trained into play in the NFL. You, know, you sacrifice things, you, know, you work out, you, know, you sweat, and you do anything you can to stay on the roster. And all those years of sacrifice and all the years of practice and my family in the stands and everybody's looking. <laughs> all that training takes over. And I catch that ball and I fall down. But I was right in the end zone. Touchdown. The never say never moment means something that you're able to do because you stuck with it, because you didn't give up. And for me, that's what it was.